Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. All right, the most overrated and underrated vitamins and minerals for testosterone production, for maximum testosterone. As you guys should know by now, every single vitamin and mineral plays a role, whether direct or indirect, in testosterone. So I'm going to rank these based on the ones that are the most overrated, right? Because a lot of them are. And the ones that are actually very, very underrated. And obviously, people are very deficient in them because they're underrated. And remember, guys, as I always say, you should get the majority of your vitamins and minerals from whole foods and not from supplements. Supplements should only be a backup plan for emergency situations, you know, such as when you're traveling, if you're sick or if you, for whatever reason, you couldn't eat all of your, all of your natural, healthy whole foods for the day. All right. All right. Let's start. Vitamin A. Believe it or not, vitamin A is very underrated for testosterone. And I already made a video explaining exactly what each vitamin and mineral does for testosterone how it increases it or how it increases testosterone signaling. So I'm not going to go into too many technical explanations in this video, right? I'm just going to go straight to the point. So vitamin A, very, very underrated for testosterone production. And sure enough, most people do not get enough vitamin A from their diet, at least the bioavailable version. Eat a lot of beef liver and you should be fine, right? No, no more than an ounce a day. An ounce a day is more than enough. All right, next the B vitamins, right? Obviously, I had to group them all into one because it's a whole bunch of them and the tail list was going to be too long. Uh, but those are actually also underrated for testosterone production. Your body cannot make testosterone without your B vitamins, especially the ones that are directly involved in testicular production, including mitochondrial function and things like that, right? Not only they're important for energy, but they're also very important for testosterone, right? And that includes all the B vitamins. It includes B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and also B12, right? So pretty much every B vitamin is important. And if you want to be technical, you can mention choline, right? Because it used to be referred to as B8, but it's coming up on the list anyway. All right, next we have vitamin C. Vitamin C is underrated for testosterone production. Everyone knows that it's important for your immune system and when your body is recovering from illnesses. But guys, it is paramount for testosterone production right especially as an antioxidant because as you know the very production of testosterone leads to oxidative stress but anyway like i said i was going to avoid the technical stuff so long story short it's underrated if you want more explanations as far as the mechanisms i'd be glad to do that in future videos all right next vitamin d vitamin d is properly rated for testosterone in fact to be honest i, w I was going to put in overrated because by now everyone knows the importance of vitamin d it's about goddamn time um, but I'm going to put in properly rated. Everyone knows vitamin D uh, is important for testosterone. And I have a whole video on sunlight and all the other benefits uh, outside of vitamin D that sunlight provides for testosterone. Next, vitamin D is extremely underrated for testosterone production. It's not even close, guys. Almost everybody watching this video is deficient in vitamin E. I can guarantee you guys. In fact, some studies show that for young men, it could be as high as 88 to 92%. You know, so pretty much 90% of young men are deficient in vitamin E. And it is very important for testosterone. Not to mention, the more junk food you eat, the more vitamin E you need. Right? So not only you guys are deficient in vitamin E, but because of your diet, you need even more of it. Right? Because a lot of you guys eat like trash. I look at the reports, right? I, I looked at endless blood works and endless chronometer reports in the last several years. Right? You guys are so deficient in vitamin E and it is nuking your T levels. Next, vitamin K2, it is very underrated for testosterone production. Not K1, K2, very, very underrated. I could make several videos explaining exactly why. And as you guessed it, most people don't get enough vitamin K2 from their diets, right? Because you guys don't eat a lot of fermented foods and you don't eat enough egg yolks. And even with egg yolks, it's very hard to get enough vitamin K2, right? Uh, next, boron. Boron is still underrated for testosterone. Now, I made a lot of videos about boron in the past, so now a lot more people know about it. Because uh, trust me, before I made the videos on boron, nobody was talking about boron. You could probably see one or two videos on it. But now everybody knows the importance of boron. Um, well, I, I wouldn't say everybody, but most people do. So it went from extremely underrated to underrated, right? Because people know about it, but people still don't get enough boron from their diets. Again, from their diet, not from supplements. Next, we have zinc. Now, this is going to shock a lot of you guys. You might think that it's properly rated, right, or even overrated, right, because almost everyone and their grandma knows the importance of zinc. But believe it or not, and I have a lot of videos to back this up, a lot of studies, it is still underrated for testosterone production. Despite the vast amount of people who know the importance of zinc now, I made so many posts about it, people still don't understand how much zinc helps and how much is needed for testosterone and DHT and, and androgen receptor signaling and estradiol, uh, you know, the main estrogen. Guys, it is so underrated despite being such a popular mineral, 
Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the studies uh, in future videos. Next, magnesium is also underrated for testosterone production, right? Everyone knows it's important for sleep. Everyone knows it's important for inflammation and antioxidants and ATP generation, energy, blah, blah, blah. But very few people know how important it is for testosterone. So magnesium, underrated. And yes, most people do not eat enough magnesium, especially when you factor in the higher oxidative stress, the exercise, the training, the sweating, all that stuff. And also the fact that a lot of these nutrients compete with each other for absorption. And also the, you know, the soil quality, blah, blah, blah. But look at me going off tangent again. Like I said, I promise not to get technical. So back to the simple stuff. Next, selenium. Selenium is also underrated for testosterone production. It's a very powerful antioxidant. It has a lot of, look at me doing it again. <laughs> I keep forgetting not to go into the mechanisms, guys. Sorry. But all right, next, calcium. Calcium is properly rated. Most people and their grandmas know the importance of calcium, not just for testosterone, but for bone health and things like that. So it is properly rated. And its impact on testosterone is uh, it's mainly at the you know at the brain level, the pituitary level, so luteinizing hormone, things like that. It has some role in testicular function, but again, uh, it's, it's very nuanced. It's very nuanced. All right, next, potassium. Believe it or not, guys, it is extremely underrated. And again, I made a lot of posts about potassium, guys. It is extremely underrated for testosterone production, and over ninety-two percent in some studies, up to ninety-seven percent of people do not get enough potassium right your diets are garbage guys because you think you could just eat a banana and have enough potassium no you need a lot of potassium um and this trend is actually getting worse right people are getting less and less potassium and it is paramount for testosterone especially luteinizing hormone next i put sea salt but it's really just sodium uh sodium is properly rated you know you know no one is over hyping or under hyping the importance of sodium uh, I was going to put in underrated because people are demonizing sodium like the plague, but it's properly rated when it comes to testosterone. Next, iron. Iron is properly rated for testosterone production. Everyone in the grandma knows the importance of iron. I'm not sure if many people know its role in testosterone production, but most people know that it should get enough iron. Uh, next, we have chromium. Chromium is properly rated for testosterone production. Its main role is in increasing insulin sensitivity. You know, it has a bunch of other functions in the body, but... Uh, it's properly rated. You know, there's not a lot of hype surrounding it, and it's also not um, ignored. Next, we have phosphorus. Phosphorus is properly rated. You know, uh, very few people are deficient in phosphorus. I was going to put it underrated because a lot of people don't know that it plays a role in testosterone, but it's it's, it's properly rated. Uh, next, we have chloride. I, I picked the wrong bottle. This one says sodium chloride, but most people get the chloride from their salt anyway. Uh, that one is actually, you know, again, properly rated. No one is hyping, you know, no one is creating hype about chloride. And we all know its importance as an electrolyte. Uh, next, we have iodine. Iodine is actually very underrated for testosterone production, especially uh, everyone knows the role in thyroid health. You know, um, I say everyone, but most people know its role in thyroid health. Uh, but those people do not know the importance between thyroid hormones and testosterone production. So that's what I'm going to put it underrated. Next, we have manganese. Manganese is properly rated for testosterone. I was going to put it underrated, again, because most people don't know its role in tea production, but it's properly rated, um, and most people are getting enough. Uh, next, we have fluoride. <laughs> I was going to put in overrated, but no one is saying that you should get fluoride for testosterone. We all know that we should reduce our fluoride uh, exposure, if anything, so it's properly rated. Next, we have copper. Copper is actually underrated, you know, because there's a lot of hype surrounding zinc as it should be, right? Uh, but people forget that the more zinc you get, the more copper you also need, which is another reason why I'm against supplementing with vitamins and minerals, unless, again, it's an extreme outlier emergency scenario. Because if you supplement with zinc, eventually you're going to be deficient in copper. Whereas foods that are naturally high in zinc tend to give you copper as well. Um, so people are getting enough copper in their diets, but not relative to the zinc. Um uh, especially people who are supplementing zinc. All right, next we have choline. Guys, I'm going to put this in extremely underrated. Choline is extremely underrated when it comes to testosterone. I mean, choline plays a role. I should make a whole dedicated guide on choline. That's how important choline is when it comes to testosterone and just health in general. Um, plays a role in methylation, plays a role in energy metabolism, fat metabolism, cholesterol transport, cognitive function, neurotransmitter synthesis. Uh, I already mentioned methylation. Uh, you know, betaine synthesis. I mean, I could make a whole video on the importance of choline. And again, over 90% of people don't get enough choline. So extremely underrated. 
uh, for testosterone. And next, we have vitamin K1. Vitamin K1, I'm actually going to put it underrated, even though most people, if you eat enough veggies, you should get enough vitamin K1. Uh, but it's underrated when it comes to testosterone, uh, mainly because people do not know the link between vitamin K1 and testosterone. All right, guys, hope this video helps. Don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, and comment below to let me know which tier list you want me to make next. All right, guys, peace.